Alright guys, so in this match we're going against an Assassination Rogue and a Shadow Priest. And watch out for the overlapping crowd controls. So for the Rogue side, you're going to be having their Kenny Shot, their Sheep Shot, their Blind, their Smoke Bomb, and stuff like that, right? Then you're going to be having the Shadow Priest with their Horrified Scream, their Blanket Silence, their psychic scream, possible mind control, then their mind games that's gonna make it harder for you to heal. So all those things you gotta be careful. And because of the instant range crowd controls, we're gonna focus on the Shadow Priest. And only because of the range. Because for the rogue, you could keep your distance and try to reduce the impact they have on you. And also targeting the Shadow Priest will keep the fight more mobile. So right now, I'm going to start crowd controlling the rogue, so that way I could disrupt his peels for his partner, and that will make it easier for my arms warrior to have more uptime on the shadow priest. I tried using frost shock and static totem to slow down the rogue, but hey, cloak of shadow, he defeated it. In this position right here, you do not want to be in close quarter combat with rogue. So remember, you have less distance between you and the rogue. So that means when he walks up to you to apply crowd control, it's less distance he gotta travel, so you have less time to prepare and react to it. But hey, but due to the situation at hand, I'm forced to eat this turd sandwich. Due to the pressure from my DPS, that forces the Shadow Priest to make distance. So I'm gonna go ahead and start crowd controlling this rogue, so I can try to top off my partner and catch up. And in this position that I'm in, we're playing, we're basically playing monkey in the middle with this rogue. So for now, this is good because two DPS is focused on my partner and since I'm keeping range, I'm cutting off crowd controls from one enemy. And now we have another situation. Now the enemy team is trying to reset. And then A, my main concern is I cannot let this rogue go back in stealth. Why? Because then he gets a new sheep shot and extra stun and save his kidney shots. By dropping earth grab, I put him into combat, buys me a little bit more time. And the rogue got lucky here, right when I dropped my static totem, he shadow stepped and connected with me and now he got me in the crowd control chain. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and slow this down because right now, hey, this is make it or break it and everything, alright? So I dropped stun totem to reduce the damage from the rogue. The warrior HP is slow. The shadow priest HP is slow. The rogue is on top of me, so at any second he could crowd control or lock me out. So my turd sandwich just got a whole lot spicier. Because due to the situation at hand, I just gotta stand here and just keep on spamming my heels and hoping, hoping they go down quick. So I look over to the shadow priest and I see that his silence is not up. He pushes up to me, boom, stuns me. But hey, he got low HP. Gonna go ahead and use the frost shot, and down he goes. Hey, but it's still not over, right? Because now I'm finding corn in my freaking turd sandwich. So, rogue smoke bomb. I push in to try to get in there so I can heal my partner, but I get crowd control. So now I'm backpedaling. I'm trying to use my instant heals to keep him up because looking at the rogue's cooldown, he still has a kick. So I'm mostly worried for a blind, but since I have bleeds on me, that's gonna take me out of the blind. So that helps me out. So now that my warrior stabilized, I'm gonna go ahead and create some distance from the kick and start hardcasting. And the warrior goes ahead, finish off the rogue, and we won.